Hey everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and I'm going to show you how to use ClassCraft. Um, this is the uh, this is the application that we are going to use to turn in all of our assignments, um, and it does so much more than that. So I, I think you're really going to like it. Um, I'm going to walk you through it, kind of show you how to do everything that you need to do. Um, first of all, when you come to class, uh, I am going to give you a uh, a code, and that code is going to allow you to create a, a new character and, and be attached to the class, which you would click sign up here and then you would follow the instructions, put in the code, and that would put you into the classroom. Um, I'm just gonna click sign in because I already have an account. Um, and here I can choose which class that I want to, you should just go immediately into yours. My view is gonna be a lot different than the one that you're going to be used to, uh, which is totally fine um, because you're the student, I'm the teacher, so I have a lot more control over the, the class. Uh, let's just take A1 Computer Technology, for example. Um, I've just kind of put myself in here as a, uh, as a placeholder for students. Um, when all the students in the class are in, you'll see a whole list of students and their avatars uh, right here that they can um, that you can change, you can buy new gear for them, you can level them up, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But you'll see your name over here, and you'll be able to select. Now, for you, you're only, you will only be able to see the members of your team. Uh, Classcraft is a team-based environment, so you will be on a team with four or five other students, and you guys will be working together to do well in class and to level up your characters. So that is, um, you'll only see your your characters. You won't see the rest of the class. Um, so let's see, what should you see first? All right, so the way Classcraft is gonna work is when you first come into class, we do attendance, I'm going to run what's called a random event. The random event is going to be something that changes the nature of the game that day, right? So um, I can, uh, so this one today, an angel descends from the sky and bestows a blessing. One player chosen by their teammates on each team gains 300 XP. So each team would choose one player to give 300 XP to. That's a pretty good um, uh, daily event. They're not always good. Some of them are bad. Some of them take away hit points or whatever, right? Um, and we'll talk more about the characters in a minute. When we're done with our daily event, we'll get into the lesson for the day. Um, now I have all the lessons built and in here all the way through the entire semester, but you're only going to see one at a time what I want you to see. So... Um, you'll probably only see the tutorial section when you first log in, um, which will have this lesson here, Welcome to Classcraft, which is what we're doing, and then um, the Disclosure and Rules lesson, which we're going to do next time. Uh, but after that, we're going to get into Computer Basics. Um, we'll get into Microsoft Word after that. And you'll see that all of the assignments are already in here. Um, and for example, let's say Word Exercise 3. Right? This is an exercise where you will take uh, a Word document, you will modify it, and then and then when you're done, you will turn it in um, based on the changes that you're supposed to make. Now, I make a video for pretty much every lesson. So if you're confused on how to do it, I have step-by-step -step, like tutorials on how to complete the assignment. Um, here's the instructions. Here's the starter document. And when you want to turn it in, you would just go down here, click the assignment area, and then you would click down here to turn it in. It would give you the option. Now, this tells you the due date, tells you how much XP you will get for turning it in, how much gold you'll get for turning it in, and it also tells you how much XP you'll get if your entire team turns it in, and how much gold you'll get if your entire team turns it in. So if you turn this assignment in on time, you will get 200 XP and 200, or you'll get 100 XP and 100 gold. If your whole team turns it in on time, you'll get 200 XP, 200 gold. So um, that's a little incentive to do things on time. Um, but that's how we do, that. that's how our lessons work. Um, you'll have, um, for bigger assignments, I might have a, uh, a rubric here that will show you exactly what I'm asking you to do. Um, but uh, you have different sections for all the different things we're going to be learning in this class. Now, um, the other thing that we do is at the end of every day, uh, we are going to do a what's called a boss battle. And these boss battles are essentially... Um, just little games. It's a. It's like a little trivia. It's like a little quiz, uh, and the boss battle is going to be a ten question uh, exam essentially at the end of the day, where you will fight against uh, a boss, a character. Um, uh, this 
you know, guy right here. And usually these questions are going to be questions that are review for other classes. So maybe some math questions or some English questions or um, some science questions. I like to mix it up. Um, it's not just going to be questions about computer science, computer technology. It's going to be questions about a wide range of different things. Um, and we'll do those boss battles every day. Uh, and we'll talk more about that whenever we get into class. Um, let's talk about the rules. Um, here, let me back out and do this because it's a little easier to do it this way. Um, burr, 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 game rules. Now, this is where I can change everything. Actually, we'll go in here. Uh, we'll open this up. Okay, so let's talk about the rules. Now, the way Classcraft works is you build a character... Um, <clears throat> and that character can be of one of three classes. You have either a warrior, a mage, or a healer. And we're going to talk about the difference between those classes in just a second. Um, but your goal is to gain experience points, okay, so that you can level up and learn new abilities that you can use in class. Um, you also want to avoid losing health points, because if you lose too much health, and uh, if you lose all your health, you will eventually uh, fall in battle or die. And um, that comes with uh, pretty severe penalties that you want to avoid as much as possible. Um, so let's talk about how you can gain experience points. Well, um, you can gain experience points by answering XP challenge questions. I will throw XP challenge questions up every once in a while uh, just to kind of check for understanding to see if you're paying attention. Um, if you get it right, then you'll get 50 XP. Um, now, I like to use the, uh, the Wheel of Destiny to pick somebody in the class to ask that question to, so um, it might be random. Uh, so you never know when you're going to be picked. And if you don't get it right, you don't get the XP. Um, turning in assignments on time, obviously you get XP. A uh, whole team turns in the assignment on time, you get XP. Defeating a boss in a boss battle, you get XP. Um, using your abilities to help your teammates give you, gives you XP as well. There are some abilities that are collaborative um, where you're helping someone else and uh, you're getting XP for doing that. Um, action points. Action points are kind of like your mana, your magic power. Um, you have a certain amount of this depending on the class you are and you use action points to use abilities. You regain five action points a day, um, and mages can replenish AP as well, um, but this is a, a very valuable resource, so don't use it all in one day. Uh, HP. Uh, HP is your health, and if you lose all of it, again, there are going to be punishments, which we're going to talk about in a minute, and you want to avoid those as much as possible. Um, but some th reasons that you might lose health is, for example, uh, showing up late to class. If you show up late, you're going to lose uh, health. If you are not wearing your uniform correctly, if you come to class with your hair, uh, your haircut's not in, in regulations, or you're not wearing a belt, or you're wearing the wrong shoes, or you're wearing the wrong uniform altogether, you're going to lose health. Um, disrespecting military comes, customs and courtesies. If you're supposed to be at the position of attention and you're moving around, or you're talking to somebody, or uh, what have you, then you're probably going to lose health. Um, Disrupting class, um, that doesn't happen very often because uh, you guys are, are really good, but if you do disrupt class, if it becomes an issue, then I might take health away from you if it's a repeated thing. Um, turning in assignments late. If you turn in late assignments, you will lose health to your character. Um, it's just a way to kind of incentivize you to turn in your assignments on time. There are ways that you and I can work out a deal where you don't lose health for turning in your assignments late, but we need to uh, we would need to discuss that on a case by case basis. <clears throat> so let's talk about the different classes that we have. The warrior. The warrior has the most HP of all the classes. Um, he has the highest amount of hit points. He's uh, essentially the strongest. He or she, um, but he has the lowest amount of AP. Uh, so he can't cast as many abilities as the rest. Warriors are kind of like the tank on the team. They're there to absorb as much damage for the rest of the team as they possibly can. Um, these are your abilities that you can use. Um, and uh, I will let you kind of go through and, and, and look at those in class while you're deciding. Now, just really quickly, the, the basic thing the warrior needs to be able to do is this power right here, protect. Protect 
allows the warrior to take 10 damage instead of their teammate, and the warrior receives only 80% of the initial damage. So if your teammate's going to take 10 damage, you can absorb that and take 8 damage instead of them taking any damage at all, right? And because you have the most AP, or HP, sorry, you can, you can afford to take 8 damage, whereas they might only have 30 hit points or maybe 10 hit points left. They can't afford to take it, so you can take that damage for them. That is the main ability that the warrior uses. And so you want to make sure that you get the protect ability right off the bat. That's the first thing you want to buy is protect. Um, because that's the main uh, reason why the warrior exists. But the other abilities are kind of cool. Uh, you can go over, you can look over those on your own time. Uh, mage. The mage has the lowest amount of HP, but they have the highest amount of AP. They're kind of like the opposite of the warrior. Mages use a lot of abilities. They can use their abilities a ton, but they have to be careful because if they get hit, um, I mean, we have some bosses later on in the semester that do 30 damage in one hit. So your mages are pretty, they're, they're pretty weak as far as health goes, but they can use a lot of abilities. Um, and again, here, the number one thing that you want to buy as a mage, the first thing is you want to you want to get mana transfer. Mana transfer allows all your team members, except for you and except for other mages on your team, to gain seven ability points, to gain seven. So you can do that and it'll allow them to replenish their ability points. Um, so the mage's job is to kind of keep everybody else with magic power. And then the healer. The healer is kind of a balanced class. Um, they have 50 HP, 35 AP, and the healer's job is to essentially just be a healer. They're, your job is to keep everybody on your team alive. So obviously you want to get heal one. That's the first thing you want to get. That allows you to give your teammate 10 HP. Just heal them 10 HP. Healers are, uh, are kind of the cornerstone of every team, right? So kind of the way it works is warriors absorb damage, okay? Healers heal the warrior from the damage they just took, and then mages give the healer AP because they just use some of their AP to heal the warrior. That's kind of the cycle of the game, right? So, and again, choose wisely for your class because each class has different strengths and look at the abilities that are available to you and see which ones you think you'd like the most. Um, you are, like I said before, this is a team activity and so you are going to be on a team uh, with a couple of other people. The most important thing is that every team has at least one warrior, one mage, and one healer. You have to have one of each class on every team or it just isn't going to work because every class helps the other class, okay? So make sure you have one of each. So let's talk about what happens if you lose all your HP. If you fall in battle, if you die, then what will happen is you will go to the Book of Laments. Essentially, it is a place where you are judged and something is going to happen to you, right? You're going to be given a sentence. Um, so it could be things such as you wake up after the attack, Bandits picked you clean of all your possessions. You lose 250 gold pieces. So you would lose 250 gold that you had already collected. Um, maybe you lose 500 experience points. Uh, maybe you only lose 50 experience points. Maybe nothing happens. Okay, there's a there, there are some pretty severe consequences in here. So um, you could even theoretically uh, lose an entire player level, a character level, because you died. Um, you don't want to do that. So, so make sure you avoid taking these punishments, okay? Because you don't want to set your character back. Um, so balancing your team, of course, we want to make sure that uh, at least one warrior, one mage, one healer. Um, also, please pick those first, those three abilities that I told you. If you are, if you are a healer, make sure you get heal, uh, heal one. If you're a mage, make sure you get um, mana transfer. And if you're a warrior, make sure you get protect because it's going to be really hard for you to level up without those abilities. Um, and then gold. Gold is something that, uh, it's a resource that is, it's going to be fun for you to play around with gold. Gold allows you to buy um, armor, new armor for your character to make your character look differently. Um, gold allows you to buy um, uh, new pets. Uh, 
pets will go out and collect gold for you. Um, gold's great, and you get gold whenever you turn in assignments on time. Um, I'll also probably give you gold if I like the way your planner looks when we do the, the weekly planner, or the, not the weekly, but the bi-weekly planner checks. Um, I usually give out gold for those. Um, defeating bosses also gives you pets, or gives you gold, and training your pet gives you gold as well. Your, your pet will uh, bring gold back to you every day. Um, okay. So, once you create your character and you're on a team, um, let's go ahead and set up my character really quick. So I can choose male or female. Um, now, again, I'm, I don't care if you're a male in real life and you want to be a female character or you're a female in real life, you want to be a male character. I do not care at all. It does not matter to me, right? But I am going to be a male for this game. Uh, I'm going to choose a look, whatever I think is cool. Now, Classcraft is kind of set up a little bit weird when you're choosing your character. It automatically assumes that you want to be a warrior, and so when you choose your look, you're choosing kind of your look for the warrior, but then you get to choose your class. Now, mages always look the same. Now, oh, let's go back. Mages always look the same starting out, so there's no look to choose for mages, because um, mages only have one look. But if I go back and I choose healer, then I didn't, I didn't get to choose, choose my look. So I can go back and then I can choose a look that I like as a healer, right? So I'm going to be that guy. Sure, why not? I'm going to be healer. And here's where I get to choose my, my abilities, right? Heal one, remember, I told you, you want to take heal one, okay? Now, the way these abilities work is every time you level up, you get one, um, you get one ability point, right? And you can use that toward these abilities. Now, the top row only costs one ability point. This row, I believe, costs two or three, and the third row down here costs even more. Now, these little arrows indicate what is prerequisite for that ability. Let's say I want healing circle, right? Well, that means I have to have heal one, heal two, in order to be in order to get healing circle. I can't get sainthood, favor of the gods, and expect to get healing circle because there's no arrow pointing to it. So when you're planning out your character, make sure you look at what you um, what is required. Also, for example, for prayer, let's say I want to have prayer. I have to have all four of these abilities in order to get prayer because I have two arrows pointing to it, which means I need both revive and favor of the gods. So you want to pay attention to that when you're planning out your character. But I'm going to choose heal one because that's kind of what I want, right? Heal one. So now my character is there and I have my heal one ability and I can use my abilities from here. Um, if I had teammates, I could heal them just by clicking on the ability. Um, if I want to learn new abilities, I can learn powers, things like that. If I want to, um, I will assign you to teams, um, but you can choose your team emblem and the background for your team, and I'll even let you choose your team name um, as long as it's school appropriate. Okay, let's exit out of here. All right, so uh, the first day, we're basically going to be focused on getting our characters set up. Um, learning how to use Classcraft appropriately because every day we are going to be using this and you're going to be using it to turn in all of your work. So make sure you get familiar with it. Make sure um, you understand how to use it because after today I will expect every single one of you to be able to use it properly to turn in your assignments. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, please uh, ask me any questions that you have um, next time you see me. All right. Thanks.